Go ahead, sir. Uh, please give us your name and proceed. Yeah. Uh, hello, I'm Marshall Klein. I own and operate nine Klein ShopRite stores in Harford County, Baltimore County, and Baltimore City. Uh, we are in support of the state bill as it's currently written. I think it's really important that, one, we get a preemption for all the local jurisdictions. We operate in three jurisdictions, and it's tremendously costly and tremendously difficult to have different rules for every jurisdiction we operate. Uh, we also feel that having the 10 cent fee is absolutely critical. I know that Kaylee alluded to it several times. For our own relatively small business, if there was no behavioral change, we're looking at cost increase of 150 to $200,000 per location if people just switched from plastic to paper. Um, that's particularly true in some of our urban locations, particularly locations where you have a lot more transactions than in a suburban location. In our city store, which is our highest volume uh, SNAP store, we run between 35 and 40 percent SNAP transactions in that store. The cost, if we were not, if we were to have a SNAP exemption, uh, would be in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, and would absolutely uh, question the viability of that location as well as future plans that we would have in city locations. So, I think it's really critical that we try to get the behavioral change and not just convert people to paper. Uh, even a one-year delay for my own company, we've ran the numbers, it's a million dollars right off my bottom line, and I don't have a million dollars to pay for extra bags, and it's just very, very difficult. So I urge everyone to keep the bill as, uh, as stated. As a medium-sized business, uh, we all acknowledge that Maryland has a perception uh, that we're always throwing throwing costs on businesses. This was a good piece of legislation that was developed with the business community, and we asked that it proceed as written. Thank you. Thank you. Who'd like to go next? 